St. Augustine Lighthouse, St. Augustine, Florida. The St. Augustine Lighthouse, an architectural gem standing sentinel over Florida's northeastern coast, has a rich history steeped in maritime tradition. Its construction began in 1871 to replace the original lighthouse, which succumbed to erosion and the ravages of time. The ambitious project, however, was fraught with challenges. The shifting sands and marshy terrain of Anastasia Island presented formidable obstacles to the builders. The construction process was further marred by the tragic loss of workers, as accidents claimed the lives of several laborers. The lighthouse was finally completed in 1874, reaching a height of 165 feet, and its iconic black and white spiral stripes became a distinctive feature of the St. Augustine skyline. Throughout the years, the St. Augustine Lighthouse played a vital role in guiding ships safely through the treacherous waters of the Atlantic. It witnessed the ebb and flow of maritime history, standing as a silent witness to naval conflicts, trade booms, and the passage of generations of seafarers. The lighthouse withstood the devastating forces of nature, including the destructive fury of hurricanes, becoming a resilient testament to human engineering and maritime ingenuity. Today, the St. Augustine Lighthouse stands not only as a historic beacon but also as a revered museum, preserving the legacy of its maritime heritage. Its solemn history, marked by both triumphs and tragedies, continues to captivate the imagination of visitors from around the world, inviting them to explore the depths of its intriguing past and the mysteries that shroud its corridors. Within the hallowed halls of the St. Augustine Lighthouse, an air of mystery and intrigue seems to linger, captivating those who dare to venture into its historic embrace. Visitors and keepers alike have shared tales of inexplicable occurrences, weaving a tapestry of eerie experiences that have earned the lighthouse its reputation as one of Florida's most haunted sites. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the weathered bricks, the first stirrings of paranormal activity begin to unfurl. Echoes of phantom footsteps reverberate through the narrow passageways, as if the spirits of long-departed keepers still tread their rounds, dutifully ensuring the safety of mariners. Ethereal figures, their forms shimmering in the dim light, are glimpsed fleetingly, leaving behind an otherworldly impression that defies explanation. Whispers of ghostly voices are carried on the salt-tinged breeze, their words a spectral echo of times long past. It is said that the spirits that inhabit the St. Augustine Lighthouse harbor no malevolence, but instead linger with a sense of purpose and duty. Some speculate that they are the souls of those who once tended the beacon, bound by an unbreakable connection to their maritime charge. Others posit that the tragedies that befell workers during the lighthouse's construction may have left an indelible mark, their restless spirits lingering within its time-worn walls. As night falls, the St. Augustine Lighthouse transforms into a realm where the boundaries between the living and the departed blur, where history breathes and whispers its secrets to those who listen with open hearts and minds. It is a place that beckons both the curious and the brave, inviting them to step into the embrace of its enigmatic past and experience firsthand the spectral echoes of a bygone era. The Devil's Tree, Oak Hammock Park, Port St. Lucie, Florida The Devil's Tree, standing tall and ancient within the confines of Oak Hammock Park, holds within its gnarled branches a history steeped in darkness and mystery. Estimated to be over five centuries old, this venerable oak witnessed epochs of change in the land that surrounds it. Long before Port St. Lucie became a city, the tree was already a venerable presence, its roots intertwined with the secrets of the land. However, it was not its age that etched a sinister reputation upon its gnarled form, but rather the malevolent deeds and dark rituals that allegedly took place beneath its sprawling canopy. Legend speaks of a time when the tree served as a focal point for occult practices, a site where practitioners of forbidden arts conducted rituals that invoked the supernatural. Whispers of witchcraft, sacrificial rites, and other unspeakable acts are woven into the tapestry of its history. The tree's association with such malevolent activities earned it the foreboding moniker, the Devil's Tree. Over the centuries, the tales surrounding this ancient oak became entangled with the collective folklore of the region, casting a long, spectral shadow over its legacy. Today, the Devil's Tree stands not only as a natural wonder, but also as a testament to the enduring power of legends and the enigmatic allure of the unknown. Its ancient boughs bear witness to the passage of time, holding within them the echoes of a past steeped in mystery and darkness, inviting those who dare to contemplate its history to ponder the secrets it may still guard. As twilight descends upon Oak Hammock Park, an uncanny transformation seems to unfurl around the Devil's Tree. The atmosphere undergoes a palpable shift, as if the very air itself holds its breath in anticipation. Many who approach this ancient oak report a sensation of heaviness, a weight on the soul that defies explanation. Shadows dance amongst the trees, their forms elusive and enigmatic, leaving an indelible imprint on the minds of those who bear witness. 
Some recount glimpses of spectral figures, their presence hauntingly transient, vanishing into the night with an eerie grace. Whispers, both hushed and foreboding, echo through the stillness, carried on the whispering winds. Disembodied voices seem to emanate from the very heart of the tree, their words an enigmatic murmur that teases the boundaries of comprehension. Others speak of phantom footsteps, their origin obscured by the underbrush, leaving a trail of mystery in their wake. Strangest of all are the inexplicable drops in temperature, as if an unseen force draws warmth from the surroundings, leaving an unsettling chill in its wake. It is as though the devil's tree itself is alive with a spectral energy, an intangible force that reaches out to those who approach, beckoning them into its enigmatic embrace. This ethereal dance between the living and the unknown imbues the devil's tree with an aura of profound unease. It is a place where the veil between worlds grows thin, inviting those who dare to tread its shadowed paths to glimpse into the mysteries that lie beyond. The haunting activity that surrounds this ancient oak serves as a stark reminder of the enduring power of folklore and the enigmatic allure of the supernatural. The Biltmore Hotel, Coral Gables, Florida The Biltmore Hotel, an architectural gem nestled amidst the lush surroundings of Coral Gables, Florida, emerged during the exuberant era of the 1920s. Conceived by George Merrick, the visionary founder of Coral Gables, this Mediterranean revival-style marvel was a testament to the era's opulence and extravagant tastes. When its doors swung open in January 1926, the Biltmore stood as an epitome of luxury and sophistication, boasting 400 lavish rooms adorned with ornate detailing, a championship golf course, and a mammoth swimming pool that held the distinction of being one of the largest in the world at the time. The hotel's charm extended beyond its lavish amenities, it became a hub of social activity, attracting luminaries from the worlds of entertainment, politics, and high society. Distinguished guests included the likes of Al Capone and the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, adding a touch of glamour to its storied halls. Yet, the onset of the Great Depression cast a shadow over the Biltmore's extravagant heyday. By 1932, the doors closed, and the hotel's vibrant pulse fell silent. Its subsequent journey saw it repurposed for various functions, most notably as a military hospital during World War II. The decades that followed were marked by uncertainty and change, with the hotel's fate shifting between different owners and uses. It wasn't until the latter half of the 20th century that concerted efforts were made to restore the Biltmore to its former glory, breathing new life into its historic walls and reviving its legacy as a beacon of Coral Gables' rich heritage. Today, it stands as an enduring symbol of a bygone era, blending the elegance of the past with the amenities of the present, inviting visitors to step into a living tapestry of history, luxury, and refinement. As twilight blankets the Biltmore Hotel, a subtle shift in the atmosphere seems to stir within its opulent halls. It is as if the echoes of a bygone era, brimming with the laughter and conversations of a glamorous past, still linger in the air. Guests and staff alike have borne witness to inexplicable occurrences that transcend the realm of the ordinary. In the hallowed corridors, shadowy figures dance at the periphery of vision, vanishing into the ether before they can be grasped. Mirrored surfaces become portals to another dimension, reflecting enigmatic movements that defy explanation. Whispers, soft and disembodied, flit through the air, their words a spectral murmur that hints at untold secrets. Chilled drafts, seemingly summoned from nowhere, materialize suddenly, sending shivers down the spines of those who experience them. Unexplained footsteps echo through empty chambers, their origin a mystery that eludes discovery. Some guests report sensations of being watched, of an unseen presence that lingers just beyond the edge of perception. It is as though the hotel's storied past, with its roster of illustrious guests and extravagant soirees, has imprinted itself upon the very fabric of its opulent surroundings. The Biltmore Hotel thus becomes a stage where the past interlaces with the present, inviting visitors to traverse the ethereal boundary between history and the spectral realm. The enigmatic activity that permeates these halls serves as a reminder that the echoes of time can transcend the boundaries of the tangible, leaving behind an indelible imprint on the collective memory of this storied establishment. Casadega, Florida Casadega, a hidden gem nestled in the heart of Florida, boasts a history as unique as its reputation suggests. Its origins trace back to the late 19th century when George P. Colby, a trans-medium and spiritualist, envisioned a sanctuary for those seeking a deeper connection to the spiritual realm. Inspired by his visions, Colby purchased the land and established Casadega in 1875. He believed that the serene environment held a special energy conducive to spiritual growth and communication with the departed. Casadega quickly drew like-minded individuals, creating a community of mediums, psychics, and seekers, all united by their shared pursuit of spiritual enlightenment. The town flourished under Colby's guidance, becoming a haven for those exploring metaphysical practices. 
Its growth was further propelled by the advent of the spiritualist movement, which gained popularity in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Casadega became a beacon for those seeking to harness their psychic abilities, offering a supportive environment for the development of mediumship, clairvoyance, and other spiritual gifts. Over the years, Casadega's reputation as a spiritual epicenter grew, drawing individuals from across the country and even internationally. Today, Casadega stands as a living testament to Colby's visionary ideals. Its picturesque streets are lined with charming cottages, many of which serve as residences and spiritual centers for the town's practitioners. Casadega remains a place of pilgrimage for those intrigued by the paranormal and the metaphysical, a community that continues to honor its founder's legacy by providing a haven for spiritual seekers in their quest for connection and understanding. The history of Casadega is a tapestry woven with threads of faith, mysticism, and a steadfast belief in the potential for transcendent experiences. As twilight descends upon the quaint streets of Casadega, an ethereal energy seems to awaken, infusing the air with a palpable sense of the extraordinary. Within the town's historic cottages and spiritual centers, a symphony of mystical practices unfolds, offering a window into realms beyond the mundane. Visitors from all walks of life are drawn to Casadega, seeking solace, guidance, and a deeper understanding of the metaphysical. Mediums and psychics open their hearts and minds to channel messages from the spirit world, providing comfort and closure to those seeking connections with departed loved ones. The air is charged with anticipation as seekers gather in dimly lit rooms, their breath held in anticipation of the revelations that may come. Ectoplasmic mists, a phenomenon associated with spiritual communication, manifest as wisps of ethereal substance, serving as a visual testament to the unseen energies that dance on the periphery of human perception. Seances, a cornerstone of spiritual practice in Casadega, become conduits for transcendent experiences. Participants join hands, creating a circle of shared energy, inviting the spirits to make their presence known. Through the delicate touch of the otherworldly, those present may feel a gentle caress or a subtle shift in temperature, affirming the existence of something beyond the tangible. In the midst of this mystical tapestry, the town itself seems to breathe with a life of its own. Shadows play tricks on the eye, and the boundaries between the living and the departed blur. Casadega streets, steeped in a rich history of spiritual exploration, echo with the footsteps of those who have come before, leaving an indelible imprint on the town's collective soul. Casadega, with its ethereal activity, stands as a sanctuary for those who yearn for a deeper connection to the mysteries of existence. It is a place where the veil between worlds is thin, inviting the curious and the seekers to embrace the unknown and discover the profound beauty that lies within the realms of the metaphysical. The Florida Theater, Jacksonville, Florida The Florida Theater, an iconic cultural gem nestled in the heart of Jacksonville, Florida, emerged during the vibrant era of the 1920s. Designed by celebrated architect Roy Benjamin, this opulent edifice opened its doors in 1927, encapsulating the exuberance of the jazz age. Its grandeur was a testament to the flourishing entertainment industry of the time, boasting a stunning Mediterranean revival-style facade adorned with intricate detailing and a marquee that beckoned passers-by with its luminous display. In its early years, the Florida theater dazzled audiences with a diverse array of performances, ranging from vaudeville acts to silent films accompanied by live orchestras. As the decades rolled on, the theater evolved alongside the shifting tides of entertainment trends. It survived the challenges posed by the advent of television and changing audience preferences, a testament to its enduring appeal and cultural significance. By the latter half of the 20th century, recognizing the need to preserve its historic charm, the Florida theater underwent extensive restoration efforts. These endeavors breathed new life into its ornate interiors and ensured that it continued to stand as a cherished landmark in Jacksonville. Today, the Florida Theater remains a vibrant hub for the arts, hosting a diverse array of events including live concerts, theatrical performances, film screenings, and cultural presentations. Its storied history is woven into the very fabric of Jacksonville's cultural landscape, a living testament to the enduring power of the performing arts. The theater's legacy as a bastion of entertainment and cultural enrichment continues to thrive, inviting generations of patrons to step into its historic halls and partake in the magic that has captivated audiences for nearly a century. Within the resplendent confines of the Florida Theater, a symphony of spectral activity intertwines with the echoes of its storied past. As the lights dim and the curtain rises, a different kind of performance takes center stage, one that transcends the boundaries of the tangible world. Staff and patrons alike have borne witness to a tapestry of inexplicable occurrences that defy rational explanation. Eerie whispers, soft and elusive, seem to emanate from the very walls, carrying with them fragments of conversations long consigned to history. Phantom footsteps echo through the hallowed halls, 
their origin a mystery that eludes even the most discerning investigators. Spectral figures, their forms ghostly and indistinct, have been glimpsed in the shadows, their presence a haunting reminder of the theater's enduring legacy. Lights flicker and wane of their own accord, casting an enigmatic pallor over the ornate interiors, as if guided by an unseen hand. Apparitions, ethereal and evanescent, materialize in fleeting moments, their silent presence a testament to the interplay between the living and the departed. It is as though the very essence of countless performances has imbued itself into the very walls, leaving behind an indelible presence that invites those who dare to tread its historic halls to bear witness to the enigmatic dance between the corporeal and the spectral. The Florida theater thus becomes a stage where the past interlaces with the present, inviting visitors to traverse the ethereal boundary between the known and the inexplicable. It is a sanctuary for those who believe in the enduring power of the performing arts and the mysteries that lie beyond the tangible world. The theater's activity is a testament to the profound impact it has had on generations of patrons, inviting them to become part of a continuum that stretches across time and space.